Hi guys, super excited for today's video because as you can see, I've got a bad habit of collecting action camera accessories for my GoPro and Insta360 cameras. But today I've got a pre-production model of something that I think could be the best action camera accessory of 2020 and help me ditch some of this lot. Hi, I'm Andy, this is Camera Cravings, and if you're new here, consider subscribing down below, click that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. So if you own an action camera like a GoPro or a 360 camera or even a mobile phone, you've probably got some accessories for it. And like me, you might have a bit of a habit of collecting lots of them that do different jobs and you end up taking all this kit on holiday or on your travels and it just becomes a burden. And actually what I've got here today to show you is something that can help you create better videos and better photos with these cameras. And also it should be able to streamline the process of taking those photos and videos and get rid of some of this gear so that we can all travel lighter. So before we get into it, I'm just gonna get rid of all of this stuff. Right, that's better. So enter new grip. This is a new product that's on Indiegogo right now and I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check it out after this video. But essentially, it is a grip for your action camera, mobile phone or 360 camera. And it's also a little tripod and an extending selfie pole. But the unique selling feature of this product is that it floats. So it can go in the water like this and it will bob up and down and you're not gonna lose your camera, but it also can do this, which is essentially turning it into an underwater floating tripod. I mean, how cool is that? This thing is absolutely awesome. I've been using it for a few days. I've been lucky enough to test a pre-production model and speak to the co-founders of the project as well. As I said, they're on Indiegogo. They've already smashed through their funding target. Within, I think, the first day, they had about 500 backers. They're a company called New Bear, and they are a husband and wife team from the UK. And they've just come up with this idea because they wanted to create something that just didn't exist, wasn't on the market. So they created this, which I just think is great because you can use it in the water, but then you can just use it for vlogging. It extends to 22 inches, so it's a decent length pole and it's perfect for when you're wanting to talk to camera. But the fact that you can use this in the water and you don't have that fear that I've always had, and I had it last summer when I went to Norway, the fear of losing these cameras in the water. I had my Insta360 ONE X attached to a selfie pole, which is the Insta360 ONE, and unfortunately those things don't float. So I was constantly fearing that it was gonna go in the drink and trying to hold a kayak paddle at the same time didn't help. I kept just thinking it was gonna be lost into a couple of thousand meter deep Norwegian fjord. We did kayaking, we had a motorboat at one of the places we stayed. We did a glacier hike, which involved going on a glacial lake on a rib. All these activities are things that I wish I had had this product for. So it will work great with your GoPro, but it's also been tested with a whole host of other 360 and action cameras and even phones within like dive cases. They've got a really nice little matrix on their website, which shows all the cameras they've tested it with for buoyancy. So last week I was lucky enough to go and have a chat with the co-founders of this project and talk about all the design choices that they've made as part of bringing this product to market over the last 18 months. They said that they've been through about 25 or so iterations of this to get to this point. So lots of different prototypes, lots of testing. They've done everything to ensure that it's stress tested for using in extreme sports situations. So they have gone down to around 20 meters with it diving. They've used it for wakeboarding and surfing and all these kind of sports where you're going to drop it potentially at speed either from uh, a moving boat or something like that and they've done it all and they've said it stood up to the tests um, the one thing that they said that they are changing which will be changed on the actual production models once people get them in their hands is this top part 
which at the moment is plastic and it to me it feels pretty robust but they've said that they're actually going to change it out for an aluminium piece which I think is really really good and will just give you that extra added confidence when you're using it. The rest of it is really well built and the materials they've used are really nice. It's only 140 grams which means it takes up hardly any room and hardly any weight in your bag but it feels strong as well. I saw at their house that they had a couple of prototypes with just heavy weights put on them and they've just literally been sat there for days just testing that it could take the weight. So as I say, this thing has been taken all over the world. They've taken it snowboarding, they've used it in all kinds of environments and they've given it some content creators to do the same. I'll put up some pictures of different people using it out in the wild. Now you might be thinking, what's actually different about this compared to say the GoPro Max Grip or the GoPro 3-way? Well, neither of those products are designed to float, which is the main difference. And there's a few other nice little design touches that they've incorporated that I think really stand it apart as well. So as I said, it extends a good 22 inches and the pole is nice and thin, so if you are using it with a 360 camera, it's not gonna get in the way, yet it is strong enough because it's only three sections that it will stand up to the abuse you're gonna throw at it. The tripod itself is really nice. It ends up being a 10 and a quarter inch diameter, so really sturdy, unlike things like this, which is from Insta360, which is like the tiny little tripod. And when you've got this with a pole and something on top, it's just, it's not great. Whereas this, you put it right up and it's not going to fall over. Whereas you put something on here and it's easily going to fall over. And actually what's nice is the Max Grip from GoPro is similar height and the diameter of the tripod is a little bit less so this just gives you that extra confidence that it's not going to be um, falling over and I used it for a couple of uh, time lapses and things in windy conditions and it didn't fall over even when it was fully extended so that's really good to know so I've only had this for a few days because they need this um, pre-production model back to give to other testers but what I have tried to do is take it to a few different environments even though I live in the middle of the UK, so I'm pretty landlocked. I managed to get down to the beach over the weekend and also take it to a lake and go out on a pedalo on a family trip and chuck it in the water and see how it did. So on Saturday, we went down to the beach. It was extremely windy. And as I said, I found that this didn't blow over when it was set up on a tripod on the sand. It was really sturdy, stayed in position when I was trying to get b-roll shots of it and I chucked it in the sea there and it floated really well but because the sea was kind of so murky I couldn't get any underwater shots with it so the following day we went to a boating lake and tested it out on a pedalo I kind of launched it off from the pedalo and because it was so windy it actually just started to float away from me, but it was just bobbing around. Eventually we managed to get the pedalo close to it so that I could grab it out of the water. And what was really great is it's got this kind of orange finish on the bottom of the tripod, which when it's in the water is what you see on top. So it's really easy to spot, you're not gonna lose it. And the other thing that's really great about this is when you do pull it out of the water, the grip that it's got it's kind of got these lines and grippiness all on all four sides which is a really nice feature and means it's not going to slip out of your hand like some other um, grips that you can get yeah it's nice to have something that's gonna not slip out of your hand the other thing we did in the pedalo was i was trying to get some video of uh, the swans underwater and what ended up happening was I actually put it in the water and it actually managed to get stuck under the pedalo so not the kind of test that I was planning to do but actually it turned out to be a really good test for it because it was stuck under the pedalo and we couldn't get it out for a while and as you can see from this footage the pedalo was going along we were trying to push it out the back of the pedalo by pushing the water towards it and it, it took a bit of a hammering to be honest and we still couldn't get it out but it showed me 
how good it was at staying afloat because even with the force of that water, it didn't, um, it didn't go under the water, it stayed above the surface and just kept bobbing under the boat. So it illustrates quite how good the buoyancy of this thing is and the fact that it can take a bit of a beating as well. So the other things that I really like about it are there's magnets on the bottom of the tripod. So when it's um, in a grip mode, it stays together nicely. Got these kind of little rubberized feet as well, which help it stay in place when it's on a more slippery surface. And it also comes with a little leash that you can attach just here so you can slip it through the hole there and what that means is when it's on and you're holding it you um, you're not going to smash your camera even if your camera is kind of dangling at full length it's not going to smash on rocks or anything because some of these kind of grips that I've seen on the market have the leash attachment at the bottom which means you've got that extra sort of nine or ten inches and you're more likely to smash it on the ground the other thing that they've said they've included on here are these little kind of notches on the tripod legs which essentially are kind of little points for mounting accessories so like the GoPro remotes and things like that. The other thing that I found from talking to the co-founders of this project is that they um, really value sustainability and they wanted to do everything they could with the packaging of this product to make it as sustainable as possible. So for example it's all cardboard, there's no plastic, and they've made it so that it can be recycled easily. And also for every one of these that anyone purchases, they are gonna be planting a tree through the Plant the Tree project. And I think that's really nice and something that should be commended. So yeah, all round, just a really lovely um, couple who have had a great idea. So yeah, in the box you actually get the grip, the leash, a or mounting screw. Now this is a standard sort of GoPro short one, which is plastic. Um, one thing I would do, and I would probably change out if you've got one, is get one of these um, aluminium screws, which either one of these ones or the kind of high torque ones, which are just more secure and yeah, you just can trust them a bit more. So that's something I would change, but I think they are maybe adding that as a extra perk on the Indiegogo campaign in the future. And um, yeah, other than that, given this is a pre-production model, I am really impressed with the quality. And as I say, they're gonna be changing out that top bit for aluminium and everything else just seems really nice. Um, I think the, the kind of finish and the look of this I really, really like. I think it looks really cool. And what I also like is the grip feels really good in the hand in terms of how wide it is. I, When I looked at photos of it, I thought it might be too fat, but actually after holding this, going back to the max grip, which is a little bit thinner, um, felt a bit weird and almost like there wasn't quite enough to get hold of. And I don't have big hands either. and. Although this is thinner, obviously because it's for the GoPro Max 360 camera, this actually tapers, as you can see, hopefully, um, it tapers up to the top. And obviously that's where the stitch line is most noticeable, closest to the camera. So obviously when you actually extend this, the part that you will see is quite small and they have tested it with 360 cameras and I've actually tested it with my um, Insta360 1R and it works pretty well with the stitch line. It's no worse than anything else that I've used in the past. So on Indiegogo at the moment, the price of this, I think the, the first batch is gone, but the price currently is £46 or about $50. And then as the batches go, they increase in price up to around £50, I think, or just over. Um, but yeah, if you want to go grab one, get in there while they are cheaper because the RRP on these is £62. Price, I think, reflects the quality of it. By comparison, the GoPro Max grip is about £40 or probably about $45 um, currently on Amazon. So I think 
for what it does, given that it floats as well and the underwater tripod feature, I think it's really, really good value for money actually. And I've already backed this project and I'm hoping to get it before I go on my holiday in the summer to France. And uh, yeah, if you um, do wanna go and check it out, I'll put some links in the description below. I'm not getting paid anything for this video. I just think it's a really great project and a really great team of people putting it together. So I wanted to make this video and tell you all about it because I know a lot of you won't have seen this yet. And yeah, hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please do click the like button, um, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and click the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.